In this video, I will be talking about a recent update to the theming capability of Streamlit, and we're starting right now. So in a prior video where I've developed a Pomodoro application using Streamlit, I've shown how you could hack the color, the background colors, by modifying the CSS files. And so in this video, I will show you how you could do the same thing, but then using the official update from Streamlit. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to update Streamlit on your own computer. And so you could type in pip install-u and then Streamlit. And so let's have a look at the repo here. So you can see that there are four four additions to the repo and there are theming showcase theming showcase dark green and blue so let me click on the first one here at the bottom and it refers to the demo of the app so i'm going to show you right now so this is the native light theme that you are familiar with and let's try out the dark theme Okay, so this is the dark theme. So if you like your web application to be a bit darker, then this would work fine for you. And the amazing thing is that you could also customize the color as well. So let's click on that custom theme. And then you could have it green or also you could modify the color of your own choosing. And so how do you actually use this theme right here? You click here. So to have it this light green color, you have to use this code, hex code for the color. So background color is this and the primary color is this. Okay, so you could actually go to Google, search for HTML color codes. And then right here, you could choose a color of your own desire. Okay, and then you copy this and then you put it into a file known as config.toml, which is found under the directory dot streamlit. So let me show you. So what you could do is you could download this entire repo, click on download the zip. And so you could have a local version on your own computer. And then what you need to do is head over to the dot streamlit folder here. And then you want to modify the contents of config.toml. And then here you could change the background color and the primary color or even the secondary background color to your own desire, as well as the font and other text color as well. Okay, so you could download this and then you could rename the file of the app here or also add your own application file in place of this demo app. And there you have it. You will have a customized color for your theme. Let's head over back. Let's try out the blue color. Okay, so this is the customized theme having a blue color. You could even make it pink. You can make it red. You can make it yellow up to your own desire. And if you want some more details on this announcement, you could go over to this blog from Streamlit. And they also have the same information in their own documentation. So I'll provide you the links to all of these resources as well. And also the HTML color code so that you could choose a color and then, and then use the desired color in your own application. Okay. And so if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't already hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.